Monotech, leading name for industrial display solutions in the world market today. Proudly providing solutions for all your industrial display needs for hundreds of legacy controllers. Visit us at monotech.com. Thank you. Hey, welcome to Monotech. Uh, today we have a panel view 600 plus. We're going to be replacing the LCD panel. Uh, this is for an Allen Bradley panel view 2711P. Uh, this is a B version. There's also touchscreens. This is a sample of we had uh, an extra um, uh, EDT LCD panel, and this is the Monotech replacement for it. It's not exactly the same, but it it works, fits, connects. Everything is it's all the same, and Monotech gives a a nice uh, one-year warranty on the product. Um, so th in this video, we're just going to show how to take it apart, and we're you see the pointing out these connectors. They have we're just going to pop them off. So I've already removed this. It's a so it, this mine will look like it pops off really easy because um, some of the clips are a little loose, uh, and just show that you just there's eight eight clips all together, and you just pop them up. And a little flat screwdriver pops it off. So then once you get it loose, you don't just reef it off because it, it has things connected. So we just lift it up slowly. And this one, because that extra box in the back is connected. So now we're going to disconnect the touchscreen cable, disconnect the LCD cable, and disconnect the keypad cable. And this we're going to lift after we remove those i removed this pretty easy because some of the clips are broken didn't realize it and then when i s did the video so there's four clips that you, you might have to use a pair of needle nose pliers to get in there to pull the clips off there's four of them once you get to there you pull the lcd panel off the lcd panel is not screwed in or anything and then the monotech lcd panel will just go where the old other one is just identify where the cable, the direction of the cable, because the Monotech cable needs to go in the same direction so it's not upside down. If it's upside down, the cable won't fit. Uh, so that's the cable we're talking about. Um, so now we're going to put it all back together. And you notice I'm not using any, there's no screws at all. It's all clip, put, snaps together. Um, make sure that the LCD cable goes through the little hole in the bottom. As you get it a little closer, just pull on it, get it in it there, and then uh, pull the touch screen and keypad cable off to the side there. Make sure they're they're out of there, so they'll go where they're supposed to do. Line it all up, and it should snap back into place. And now we're going to reset the touch screen. Pop up the little tab. They're all pop-up tabs. And, and that's the keypad. Just puts it in place and then snap down. And now the LCD panel, put it in place and snap it down. And then we're done. Just push it in, the clip. You need to look at the clips, make sure they're all well seated, push down hard. Um, and put them. It'll go clip, 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 and we're all done. At the end of all this, uh, then we're going to test it. You, this one's an AC version. There's also the 24 volts DC. So we will plug it in. I got the cable plugged in, and it powers on. Look how perfect screen looks just like the original and thank you for watching. All right.